Hello, welcome to Chapel Glen, third grade. I'm Mrs. Bodorf, and this week we're working on pulleys. We're ready for Mr. Croslin. So I'm here at Chapel Glen, Ms. Bodorf's class, and we're studying the pulleys. And a pulley is a really old, simple machine. And we don't know for sure who was the first person who invented the pulley, but I bet it went something like this. Would you come over here? What's your name, young man? Nelson. Nelson. Okay, so Nelson was telling me about how he and his dad used a pulley. So Nelson, here is a, a load, and I am a tree, okay? <laughs> I'm a tree, and go ahead and put that over there. You throw that rope over there, and it goes down, and how would you use a pulley to pull that load up? What would you pull? To make that one go up, what would you pull? Go ahead and show us. Keep pulling, pull it all the way up. No, this one, let's pull this one. Keep pulling it, pulling it, pulling it, pulling it, pulling it. So the first pulley was probably just a tree and a rope and a load. Go ahead and let it down. Let it down by pushing up. Go ahead. Show them one more time. Pull down. See, a simple pulley does not make work easier. A simple pulley just changes the direction. One more time. He pulls down, it goes up. He pushes up, it goes down. And that is the first thing you need to know about a simple pulley. It doesn't make work easier, it just changes the direction. So Nelson and I have a small pulley, okay? So Nelson, go ahead and hook this around one of these wheels up here. And if you pull down on that one, what do you think is gonna to happen to this? It goes up and you, and you push down. So that's a simple pulley. It just changes the direction. Even if you put it over two wheels, go ahead and pull down, pull down, it, it falls off. <laughs> Try it again. Pull down and I'll, I'll guide it. See, it's easier to pull down than it is to push up. And even we set this up kind of fancy like this, around this one, around this one, even though this is still just a simple pulley, Nelson pull down and the load goes up. And if I pull down, the load goes up. But you know, this is a small version. Let's take a look at that same thing works. Put that big version in, Nelson. We have to put the chair on the big Here we go, ready? Let's check this out, okay? All right, so let's set it up, Nelson. Go ahead and let's see if this one still works. Just on one. You pull that down and, oh, <laughs> sorry. Let's do the same thing. Go ahead. And it goes up. Let's put it across two of them and see if the same thing happens. Go ahead. He pulls down. It goes up. Have you seen anything at your school like this? Yes. What have you seen at your school like this, Nelson? Anything? When we went outside. What about outside? I saw something that... Um, I saw some kids pulling down we on something. We went outside and saw this, Mr. Crossland. We you saw it outside? We went out and looked at it. Anybody in the class? What is it? Well, go ahead, say it. The flag. Oh, the flagpole. So, like, if Nelson, if that's the flag right there, Nelson has the flag. You can go outside, and the kids, dun 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 dun, and then you say, you salute the flag, right? And then at the end of the day, thank you, Nelson. At the end of the day, what do the kids do? Nelson, where are you going, man? <laughs> He's demonstrating work. He used a force to move an object. Now get back here. <laughs> Nelson, at the end of the day, they go outside and they lower the flag. So they raise and lower the flag using the pulley. Do you imagine how hard it would be to climb up that pole and put that flag on there? I know, it would be slippery. It would be slippery, almost impossible. I'll tell you, in your room, there might be another pulley around the room somewhere i'm thinking right on, there. on a oh you're, you're right where right the, 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 the map the screen the, the screen, screen. The, the let's screen. see this thing right here no yes no. Uh, and right here yeah there's probably a wheel and axle in there maybe a pulley and what about on your blinds for your window yes, yes. you pull yes. down and when you pull down where do the blinds go up, up, up. Uh, okay so I'm going to show you a different type of pulley. Remember, this one doesn't make work easier. It just changes the direction. Okay, Nelson, I'm going to show you a pulley that does make work easier. This is called a block and tackle. And you can see it has 
pulleys up here and pulleys down here. Check this out. Here are two really heavy books. Hold them with your hands, okay? Lift them up. Uh oh, <laughs> hold them tight. Can you hold that one like that? Hold them up. Lift them up and down. Can you feel how heavy that is? Up and down. Now let's see if we can use a pulley to make that feel less. Ready? Let's put that one there. Move over to the side. Oh, come to this side, Nelson. This one here, okay? Now watch what happens. Grab the end of this and pull it up straight. Keep pulling, keep pulling, pull, pull. You see that? All right, stop for a second. Look, oh, look how far he had to pull back. He had to pull a lot farther, but the effort was easier. We can pull this a little bit more. So to get it to go this distance, we had to pull it this far. Let's let it down again. Here you go, you let it down. So this is a block and tackle, and this block and tackle makes work easier over a longer distance, okay? And let's bring it back down. Now I'll let you kids, the best way to understand this is to feel it and then to try it because we could put a spring scale on and measure it, but let's do it by feeling it first, okay? Not bad, but look at all the distance. Little F for little force, force or effort. Big D for big distance. distance. And that's a block and tackle. Okay, so this is the last play I'd like to demonstrate with Ryan on here. So Ryan, have a seat, and it's a little slippery. Put your other shoulder through here and hold up here. Where? Right there. Hold it. There you go. <laughs> Don't slip off. Okay. And so this has two pulleys, a fixed pulley and a movable pulley. This is a block and tackle. Now I'll be able to lift her. And I'll be able to lift her pretty easily because, but look at the distance I have to go. And I have to do more and more distance, but it's, but it's pretty easy. And so, hey, how's the weather up there? How's the weather up there? <laughs> and so look, she's only gone up like five feet, but I had to pull it 20 feet in order for her to get all the way up there. But it was real easy. I can do it with one hand. Let me let you down. So this is a block and tackle which is actually fixed pulleys and movable pulleys. And this one does make work easier. Hey, while you're up there, go ahead and wash the windows. <laughs> Window washers use these. Or if you're on a ship, they might use these. Okay. And so that is the pulleys. Pulleys are everywhere. They are on the flagpole, they're on your curtains, and they're in your cars, and a pulley in this class is even in Mrs. Bodarf's third grade classroom. Ryan, up, up or down? Up. up, she says. <laughs> Thanks, see you next time.